Hi guys, Techman here. We recently took a look at the huge 2048 watt hour portable power station from Neon, but something I hadn't tested was direct DC to DC charging. So today I'm going to hook up a 12 volt and a 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery to the unit to see how many amps and watts the unit takes from each battery. We can also use this experiment to simulate charging from a 12 volt or 24 volt vehicle. The batteries I'm going to use are both rated at 60 amp hours. I have installed M8 ring terminals on the battery with Anderson PowerPoint connectors on the other end. And for the safety of this demonstration, I'm going to use this Anderson PowerPoint distribution block. This particular block has a 40 amp max input and 8 individually rated and fused outputs. I don't have a 15 amp fuse, so we'll use the 20 amp fused output in this test. And we'll add a watt meter at the input and another at the output. I'll have a camera fixed on the input watt meter, and if I notice any inconsistencies, we'll take a look at it in further details. The second camera will be fixed onto the Leoc, so we can see simultaneously what's displayed on the LCD display. Now Leoc advised the DC input is limited to 150 watts. I'm hoping this is only the case for 12 volt batteries, and the 24 volt battery is able to charge faster. Now both the lithium ion phosphate batteries are approximately 90% state of charge, so I expect the voltage to be around 13 volts for the 12 volt battery under 10 amp load and 26 volts for the 24 volt lithium ion phosphate battery under the same load. So first off is the 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery. If it takes in 10 amps, we can expect around 130 watts of charge. Let's take a look. Oh right, so here we go, here we go. Oh wow, look at that. Looks kinda like a speedometer. How cool is that guys? Oh right, so it looks like it's now finding the optimum charging amps and starting to settle down. It looks like 149 watts is the most it's going to take in. Look at that guys, the watt meter indicates 12.85 amps are being pumped out of the battery. And check it out, a whopping 162 watts at 12.6 volts. Man, I didn't expect the voltage to go down to 12.6 volts. It'd probably be good to check what the voltage was at 10 amps. I'll just check it in post-production and pop it at the end of the video. Looks like it's going to stay between 144 and 147 watts, I think. Okay, let's move on. Now let's hook up a 24 volt lithium ion phosphate battery. At 10 amps we can expect approximately 260 watts of charge. But is it capped at 150 watts? Let's find out. Right, away she goes. 200 watts. Oh look at that guys. 300 watts at 12 amps, that's phenomenal. Oh. I think it looks like it's going to settle at 251 watts. And check out the watt meter. It's pulling 253 watts at 9.5 amps. And check it out, there's very little loss in between the battery and the Leoc, which is excellent. I'm just going to keep it running a little longer to see if there's any changes in behavior. And check it out, the battery voltage under 9.68 amps is 26.15 volts. That's pretty impressive. Right, time to end this test. So what have we learned today? So we saw today that the Leoc power station can be charged via both 12 volt and 24 volt batteries. There's nothing new here, we are expecting that. But what we've learned here today is that the 150 watt DC charge cap is for 12 volt batteries. The unit can also take 10 amps from 24 volt batteries. Hence we saw that it charged at 250 watts from a 24 volt lithium ion phosphate battery which was at 90% capacity. What was remarkable was that at 12 volts it was taking over 12 amps of current, which I must admit I wasn't expecting. And the unit initially took 12 amps from the 24 volt battery too, before limiting the current to 9.6 amps. So we can expect a max of 150 watts of DC charge from 12 volt batteries and a max of 250 watts from 24 volt batteries. I don't know, but I think this may differ if the battery SOC or state of charge is different to what it was with my batteries. Perhaps it may remain the same in that the unit takes in more amps at lower voltage, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll find out. And coming back to the 12 volt test, the battery voltage at 10 amp load was 12.84 volts during our experiment. 
I like how the input display revved up like a speedometer and not just in increments. Now there was quite a bit of energy loss when charging at 12 volts. I don't know why this occurred, but we didn't see that at 24 volts, so this is quite strange. Anyways, I hope you found this test useful. Lithium ion phosphate batteries are a cost effective way to expand the capacity or recharge your portable power station or solar generators. You can charge the battery up during the day whilst you use the unit to power your appliances and devices. Then, after sundown or during the night, you can recharge your portable power station ready to use the next day. Now I do have one question which is bothering me. How fast will the LEOC unit charge at various voltages? Say for example 16 volts, 18 volts, 20 volts, all the way up to 35 volts. Hmm, I could purchase a bench power supply or voltage booster and hook that up to the LEOC. Would you be interested in that? Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Right guys, as always, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next one.